Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy the Handmade Homeschooler and I'm showing you guys some of the educational things and some fun things that my kids got for Christmas this year. There was so much stuff this year. My kids are super spoiled by their grandparents. <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff, but a lot of it was educational based because my kids just like that type of stuff. And everybody's always asked me for ideas for birthdays and things like that for kids and for educational things that they can add to their homeschool. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys some of my kids' favorite things that they got for Christmas that were kind of educational based. And I'm gonna throw in some other cool things in there too. All right, so the links for everything, I hope I remember to link them all down below in the description box so you guys can go check them out if you want to. So one of the first things on the list is these rocker kits. So this one is a clock and my kids love these things. These are wood kits. I've mentioned them on my channel I think a couple of times in our like Amazon favorites type of videos. These take hours to put together. It's like almost like Legos for adults, but you're, you're dealing with, um, with wood so everything is like a die cut and like precision laser cut things so i'll show you the back there's like there we go so you guys can see some of the the projects they have these all over their room they collect them and we have shelves of these like they're displayed on their walls i mean we have everything from like airships to i think there's a guitar and there's one that is a music box and there are so many different kits that you can get. These all run anywhere between 20 and like $100. So the bigger the price tag, the bigger the object usually is, but there's so many to choose from. It keeps them busy. It keeps them doing almost like a handicraft type thing. And it's something that kind of just, um, it's a great rainy day project. I will say that it's a great, great rainy day project. So my youngest one, as you guys know, is like super into animals and he asked for animal books again this year. He is 13. This is my child who reads textbooks for fun. <laughs> um, he read one on agriculture just this year, like this, uh, this fall. So he is really starting to get into wildlife rehabilitation and he's kind of thinking about doing that as a career. So I wanted to get him some books to go along with that. So this one is an introduction to wildlife rehabilitation. He's already read this. Christmas was Monday, it's Thursday right now. He's already read this whole thing. <laughs> he really liked it. Now, this one is a secular book, so just keep that in mind. These three, the next three, I actually got them on Answers in Genesis. They're creation science based. This one is Marvels of Creation. And he asked for these books specifically. The Big and Small God Made Them All Bug Book. He loves that book. There are some really cool rare bugs in there. And the Ecology Book. And this one, I think there's an actual curriculum for the bug one and this one from Master Books. I think they partner with Answers in Genesis. So you can go and grab those as well. He's also my reader, so here's a couple fun ones. I got him The Book of Lost Tales by, of course, J.R.R. Tolkien. And then he's a, he's a Lord of the Rings nerd. These books by Dan, David Day, he makes, there's like a series of them and they are leather bound books that go with the Lord of the Rings. This one is The Battles of Tolkien and they're illustrated. Really, really neat book. He has one of them on Kindle, but it doesn't do it justice because I mean, these pictures are just amazing in this book and I would like to get him the entire set, but these are just really, really, really cool books. Really impressed by them. My oldest child is getting into graphic design and he thinks that that's what his career path might be. So we're kind of exploring that. So to help him with college preparedness for that path, I got him graphic design rules. He's brand new to graphic design, so I want to kind of give him an introduction to things. He likes reading about things and learning skills through books. So I got him this one and I got him a different one too. And to go along with that, I also bought something cool for him. So these are really popular in the graphic design world right now. And I thought this might help him get ready for college. 
I got him a Creative Pen tablet. Now his is the black one here. This just shows that they have a black and a pink one. And this is literally like a drawing tablet like this. So it comes with a stylus pen and it hooks up to any computer or laptop via a USB. You download a driver and then you just use it within a software that is compatible with this. So just like some kind of graphic design software and they draw on this pad and it, you can see it visibly on the screen. He played with it for like an hour. I couldn't even draw a straight line and make it look good on this thing. He was able to draw like a whole figure in an hour and it looked way better than anything I could have ever done with years and years of practice. So kids today can do some amazing things. So he has really enjoyed playing with this and learning, learning how to do that. I got him all kinds of accessories and things like that. I got him like the, the glove that he needed to go with it. That was really helpful. I got him several different graphic design books so he could get started and I'm signing him up for his own Canva account. And luckily I've been doing Canva for years. Um, I've had three businesses. This is actually my third business. The Handmade Homeschooler is my third successful business. And I had to learn graphic design just as, as a necessity of being a online seller and being somebody who's had businesses. So it's something that I can um, kind of help him along with. So I've been getting him things here and there to go along with that. And we got him a ton of art supplies. There's so much art supplies. I can't even show it all on camera. Everything from sketch pads and pens and metallic pencils and charcoal and pastels and books on how to use all of those. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff, you guys. He This was like the year of art for my 16 year old. So I'm hoping he learns all these skills that will help him in the future. Now I wanna show you two really cool things. My 16 year old is taking R.C. Sproul's philosophy course through, through Compass Classroom. And R.C. Sproul is the instructor. My child asked for this. <laughs> he wanted a reformed thug life R.C. Sproul mug and I found one on Etsy. Can you believe that? And I got him a matching decal sticker and a t-shirt just because it was Christmas. So this is his very first like adult mug for hot chocolate and you know, a, an occasional cup of coffee. He thinks this is so cool. I think it's kind of cool and I kind of want to steal it because you guys know I am an RC Sproul nerd, but yeah, so cool, right? So this one is also really neat. If you have kids that are a little bit fidgety and like to do games and things like that, these like, I think it's called Shashibo, but these are like these cubes that you make shapes with and it's, um, they get a whole bunch of them and kind of like stick them together and make different things. They aren't cheap, but if you start out with one, it's like $20, $25 and then you know, you can add more later. But they are kind of fun to play with. They're magnetic, all the links are together. So just something kind of fun to play with. They really like these. And the last thing I wanna show you is just something that my mother-in-law and I found while shopping for Christmas. It's an instant ramen mug. My family is nuts about ramen. Like they love ramen, love ramen. Um, <laughs> It's not something I make often before everybody jumps down my throat about how terrible ramen noodles are. Yes, I know, okay, I know. Don't go there. <laughs> but every now and then we like to make ramen and every now and then my 16 year old likes to make ramen. This is a ramen mug and it is so cool. We got it at Kohl's. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. Isn't this just so neat? So yeah, you heat it up for two minutes in the microwave with um, you know, whatever you want to put in here. My kids doctor up their, their ramen noodles with all kinds of things. We have ramen eggs and we have, there's a lot of Asian food in my house because we spent several years in, um, Okinawa, Japan. So we have a lot of Asian food in the house. <laughs> um, so we have all kinds of cool things to put in our ramen and different oils and sauces and stuff to go on top. Yeah. We, 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 eat, we eat Asian regularly at my house. So the last thing I'll show you, Catan. 
my kids are so into this game and now they have so many different extensions <laughs> um yeah so we have we got the seafarers one uh, i want to say this fall that was their first extension and now they have another one which is the cities and nights extension pack they love board games we don't have video games in my house but my kids love board games Catan is one of those games that takes a little while, but they love it so much. So this is a cool game. Um, they taught me how to play in one afternoon and now I can play. I don't know how to play any of the extension packs, but I can play the main game. <laughs> so this one is probably going to be the next one that they teach me how to play. They've already figured out how to play it and they've already been playing it this week. So pretty neat. Okay, so what are some of the things that you got your kids for Christmas? I would love to see. Is it homeschool related? Did you get anything homeschool related? Tell me down below in the comments. I have a birthday coming up. I always need ideas for things like that. All right, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and as always, happy homeschooling.